Hi guys, good evening. Today is Monday. We've passed a whole weekend by with no baby time. So I'm gonna grab some much needed baby time and just hang out with you guys, if that's okay. I'm gonna change this sweet little vampire baby Lestat and I'm gonna change Sparrow. I noticed that I change babies on most, most videos now. I didn't always used to do that, but I guess it gives me something to do with them while I'm talking. First, I wanna show you two items that I bought from Ashley over at Baby Love Heartsmith on one of her recent Instagram sales. Um, the first one is, it's a zero to three month baby gap with Charlie Brown on the front, bodysuit with the long sleeve t-shirt built in on top. Now actually, it would be super cute on the stat also. I got this with uh, Silas in mind. Yep, a little bit. Yep, I got this with Silas in mind with his little round dome. So that was really cute. And then this set that I've been eyeing for a little while it wouldn't look so great on the stat. <laughs> Um, this would actually look really cute on Sparrow. It is also zero to three months, but I am holding it for my new baby just to see how it looks on her when she comes. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be really big on her, but it's a hat and then like this cape top. So there are sleeves, but it's a cape um, brand again, Harry and Violet. And let's see the pattern. You have little... I guess, what would you call it? Like a village scene. There's like a little church, some bunnies, deer, trees. Really pretty. And these different colors of pink. And maybe mauve. I don't know. Both brand new with tags on. Really pretty. Yeah, so I think that's going to be too big for my new girl, but... Uh, when she does make it here, we will see. But it, I do believe that it would fit Sparrow because she's a big newborn. She fits zero to three pretty nicely. And with her being a silicone, it's uh, definitely easier to change her into that size. So, but look at this cute little guy. We're gonna take him out of his little newsboy outfit. He's had this hat on the whole time. So let's see how that gorgeous mop of hair is doing. We won't bother brushing it until after. <laughs> Such a cutie pie. So what have I been doing in the dolly community, being that I haven't actually played with any dolls over the last four or five days? I've definitely watched some videos of some box openings, some hauls. I have seen, I haven't watched, I don't know that I've watched many of them, but I know that there's a new tag going around on um, are we ever really done collecting. Um, so I haven't watched, I watched Kelly Girl's response video. Um, I think Inez did it. And I think maybe it started with Lynn. And I think I just saw that um, Bundles of Joy 83 put one up today. So I have to make my rounds around and watch everybody's take on that. I don't have a full response video to it, but I think I'm way too new to cast a vote in any real direction on whether we're ever really done collecting. I think that some people are. I've definitely met some people that have lost interest and move on. Um, that's how I ended up with this guy, actually. She just sort of lost interest. She started collecting different kinds of dolls and kind of just wasn't interacting with her reborns anymore and had kind of lost interest. I have seen a lot more of us collectors who leave and then come back. Sometimes 
within a matter of days, sometimes within a matter of years. I've seen some people that have left due to life circumstances, maybe starting a family, things like that. And then when they settle into that, they miss the babies and they bring them back. For me, um, I don't see an end in sight. And every time I say, I'm done, that's it. I buy more than I was buying before, which have you ever, God, she's so cute. I'm sorry. She's so cute. I'd say that this baby and Charlie have made me smile the most of all the dolls that I've had so far. Um, Have you ever noticed if you have something you want to cut out of your life, like the moment you say you're going to cut it out, your participation doubles? <laughs> like, for example, you're going to stop drinking coffee or you're going to stop eating carbs or whatever it might be. I'm sure not everybody's that way, but it's psychological, I'm sure. This false sense of deprivation that sets in mentally as soon as you feel that you can't have something anymore. Also since last week we had a lot of um, a lot of rain a couple days over the week a couple times over the weekend and then we woke up Sunday morning and we have an elderly neighbor who recently moved into a nursing home so she's not staying in her house and there's a giant old tree that sits just on her property in the front yard and it had split Sunday morning I guess the base of it was rotted out and it had cracked down the middle and half of it had fallen on top of her house um, most of it fell in the front yard, but it did take out a little bit of the house. And so we were alerted as some really kind neighbors were trying to find her or her family members. And then the police came back and they were very concerned because the other half of the tree was leaning precariously over our house and would have definitely taken out the section of the roof above the living room into the attic and possibly into the house so all is well they were able to get a tree service in on emergency on Sunday and take that down so that was the excitement around here now these leg warmers are technically preemie size <clears throat> But they've gotten stretched out a little bit, and he's got skinny little legs, so. This onesie I got from June, um, she had bought it and had it on her channel, and I told her how great it was, and she just mailed it to me. <laughs> so it's been on Charlie before, I think it was on Charlie. Yeah, but it's just perfect for him, actually. those little feet and these fat little feet how perfect is that with the skulls for him now he does have a little dolly that's perfect for him but she's scary and I did show her very briefly on my channel a long time ago. She's a little artist made version of a voodoo doll. It's not an actual voodoo doll, but it's just a creepy doll. That is so cool. I think is so cool, but I think that it might be a little much for some people just because her eyes are, um, just basically dark hollows. Her face is made out of clay and then her body is canvas and stuffed with that, what I would assume is sawdust. She's really cool. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. Not 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 even everybody is in, into the vampire. So, I don't want to be too creepy. Look at that little face. Oh my goodness. Hi little man. <laughs> Look at that. All right, I'll give you one more view of his eyes and then we're gonna move on to Sparrow. <laughs> Gorgeous hair. All right, so there's the stat. Well, sweetie pie, we are going to find a safe spot to pop him for the time being. And then we'll bring Sparrow on. She's sitting right next to me here in the Moses basket. look this way <laughs> just gonna lounge there like that I'll tell you she's a little more difficult to change on the boppy so we'll see how it goes but hi <laughs> cute girl I'm going to put her into a little outfit that I had found for um, one of the first silicone dolls that Tasha, I didn't buy it, but I found for Tasha an outfit for one of her first silicone dolls the second time around that she went got back into silicone. And um, when she ended up with Oscar, she um, she sent it to me since Oscar wouldn't wear it, and it's an FAO Schwartz ruffle romper I call it. Really beautiful with these um, lavender and pale blue flowers, and it is I think it's a size newborn five to eight pounds, so it should fit her pretty well. So let's see how we do. So summer's gone by really quickly and I kind of feel like I've been waiting for it to start and um, for most of it and then I kind of looked up and realized that it was July at that point and that it was actually halfway done. I've been in our pool exactly once for about five minutes this season. <laughs> so I should probably get on that. Although around here we kind of have two seasons. Well, three if you count rain as a season, which you kind of could around here. But um, sweltering hot and blizzard is kind of where we're at. So I expect that we will have some warm days going for just about another month or so. That would be pool worthy. Very cute. The buttons are hidden under the ruffles. It's very cute design. Except for the top one. How do you look? Very beautiful. It definitely brings out the blue in her eyes, which 
I know you guys can't see on camera. It just doesn't reflect. And I'm so glad it looks like Sparrow gets to stay here with me, which I'm really happy for. I think I was going to get her a bow. Oh, I have this little bracelet. For her. She's pretty. Now let me see. Have this um, satchel of accessories here. See what we have. If I have a bow that will match, and I know in terms of pacifiers, we have this purple one with the heart on it, which I cut and then I cut it again and I cut it a little too short so it doesn't stay in all that great. Let's see, we've got green, that doesn't work. We've got kind of cream color. That's too pink. This one's very pretty, but it's also very large. Like what baby's head is that big? Seriously. And then it's stretchy. Maybe a toddler. Um, currently I have a very long piece of a ribbon and a blue piece of ribbon. That could work. We'll, we'll see if we can tie that into a bow. As far as pacifiers go, I think that purple one is probably the closest that we have that's not latex. It's kind of cute with that pacifier, actually. Take these away. Huh. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Well, we'll just get started and see what we can do. Hair doesn't really need much brushing right now. if it'll be long enough. Looks like it will just barely. we go. Hopefully everybody can see your pretty bow. Let's turn you. Yeah, I think they can see. So we don't need this one. We really don't need to cover up that pretty face either, but let's see.
There she is. With her little makeshift blue bow, which I just turned. Very beautiful. <laughs> and there she is, guys. So pretty. All right. Well, there's 20 minutes of not a whole lot of substance to talk about, but just wanted to come on and hang out, like I said, and spend a little time with a couple of my dolls and just decompress from a long day that started around 4.15 this morning and just sort of wound down. All right, thank you for coming by if you did to watch and hang out. I hope you enjoyed these two gorgeous babies and we will, I am sure, be back before too long and sometime soon um, we will have a box opening of Dream Baby, but I think life happened and we're a couple weeks behind schedule, so, but stay tuned. You only get the anticipation once, right? Once the baby comes, the looking forward to the baby stops, so we'll just savor it. All right, guys, thanks for coming to visit us. We will see you soon. Bye for now.